Okay, this one, it looks like it's, it's gotten crushed right here a little bit. It must have gotten impacted right here, and it's created a crease in the box. Possibly was impacted slightly right there by something. And a little bit of a crease there. So, not really sure. This is from Wisconsin again. bubble wrap. Looks like it's actually, it is. This is a solar blanket that you use on a swimming pool that's been recycled and used for bubble wrap. Good idea. But I gotta get a new pool cover. I'll save some of the old one. And yes, it is a Numicron clock. I like this pool cover stuff. It's actually very heavy duty. There's a cord. It's almost too strong. I should be using my regular cutter that I usually use. It makes it difficult. Okay. Pool cover off. And yes. This is a Seath Thomas Speed Read Plastic Case Numicron Clock. This was manufactured in 8 of 1970. And someone wrote on here, do not set time when 60 seconds appears on the hours dial, on the seconds dial. Well, that's obvious. Interesting, they quoted it right from the owner's manual, which I have underneath the glass top. Nice thing with these, no tools needed to get the back off. Okay, some cobwebs and the minutes brush is cut almost entirely through. So it will have to be trimmed down and swapped for the hours or for the tents. I don't know if it's going to show up in there. But other than that, this was a real cheap, cheap one, so nothing else it's a motor Let's see if I can get that in its clip to show up yeah. you can see how the minutes clip is bent so that it's just riding on the edge of the drum they came brand new that way. And the problem with it, when they're bent like that, it cuts right into it. And eventually it cuts the L piece right off of the, uh, of the detent clip. And it's cut almost all the way through, so I'll have to cut it down. It's got a good Synchron motor, which we're about to find out. Now this power strip I got was actually brand new in the package, but is obviously not UL approved anymore. Clock is running.
clock is flipping. So it is a good clock. So these power bars were normally mounted on carts, little metal carts that you could roll around in your kitchen, but obviously would be very dangerous because a child could stick any flat metal object into this. It's just a continuous track. But this I actually got it an estate sale and it was brand new in the package and it was UL approved so another one made it without any damage and is running Seath Thomas speed read Numicron clock the Numicron.